Today marks nine years since the death of Michael Brown in Ferguson. The metro area is honoring his life today with two memorial events. And our Sydney Stallworth is live in Clayton with today's tributes. Good morning, Sydney. Good morning, Michelle Rennie. On August 9, 2014, Michael Brown was shot and killed in the streets of Ferguson following a confrontation with a Ferguson police officer. Now, his death sparked outrage in this community and far beyond, leading to demonstrations and calls for police reform nationwide. And in just a couple of hours, our community is going to honor Brown's life and legacy. Now, organizers for these events in his honor are acknowledging that this painful moment of our past can hopefully usher in a new future for our community. The first tribute will be held on Canfield Drive in Ferguson, where Michael Brown was shot and killed. A four and a half minute of silence will be held there at 1115 AM to remember the four and a half hours his body laid in the street. You're encouraged to bring bears and candles to rebuild the memorial that's there in his honor. Also later tonight, an organization started by Michael Brown's father, Michael Brown Sr. called Chosen for Change will hold the second annual Black Ball Fundraiser Awards Gala. The fundraiser and gala will be here where I am at the Ritz Carlton St. Louis in Clayton from 6 PM to 10 PM. The event will honor black educators in the region and award two scholarships to local students in need. There will also be live performances and a silent auction. Now we're told that the Chosen for Change organization really hopes to help families in our area build a better future as they're going through unimaginable pain and or grief. And in our next half hour, I'll tell you a little bit about the $500,000 fundraising goal that's going to be happening inside the Ritz Carlton and just a couple of hours later on tonight and where organizers say that money will be going. But for now reporting live in Clayton, I'm Sydney Stallworth five on your side.